Hello my friends, welcome to a brief tutorial on how to create an intake spreadsheet for multiple days in Diet and Wellness Plus. So the first thing you're going to need to do is bring your attention to that black menu bar near the top of the screen and towards the right of it you'll see reports. Go ahead and click on that and when you do you'll see all the different reports come up. Now you need to make an intake spreadsheet for multiple days not just one day. So if you select Intake Spreadsheet, you're only going to be able to make a report for one day at a time. More than likely, your professor wants an intake spreadsheet for the entire time you kept track of your diet. So I want you to look all the way at the bottom of the screen under Advanced Reports, the very last group of boxes, and you're going to select Combination Report. Okay, so now you can pick a range of dates. So when you click Start Date, you can choose when you started keeping track and you can select your end date here. Okay. And I'm going to leave all of these upper boxes clicked, breakfast, lunch, dinner, morning, afternoon, and evening snacks, because I want all the food that I ate during the time that I kept track of my diet to be included. And now this is the part that you got to be careful on. Choose reports to combine. You're only making an intake spreadsheet. So this box right here is the only one you need to leave checked. So go ahead and uncheck all these other boxes. So I'm going to do everything on the right, everything in the center that's not intake spreadsheet, and all the boxes on the left I'm going to uncheck. OK. Now you're almost done. Last thing you have to do is save the report as a PDF. And again, you're going to want to hit Save Report as PDF, but this button is not going to save your report as a PDF. To save, you're going to need to select Print. So go ahead and select Print. OK. And the next thing you're going to do is change the location if it doesn't say save as PDF. Mine does, so I don't actually have to change mine, but this is what happens when you select the button. Okay, uh, you get to choose the destination. So here you see save as PDF, same right here. You could even save to a Google Drive or maybe a thumb drive. So we'll leave it the way it is since mine already says save as PDF. And when I hit save, I get the option to name my document. And uh, this is uh, an organization tip that I'm going to go ahead and, and throw at you here. Um, go ahead and name all of your work that you do for a specific class with the same prefix. So when I took this class and had to do this report, it was called Food and Nutrition 241. So I'm going to start my document with FON for Food and Nutrition 241. And then I'm going to name my document. And this is an intake spread sheet okay and it's gonna save it to my documents under where it says my documents I could go ahead and choose to save it anywhere else so here you know maybe my, my thumb drive might come up or an external hard drive or, or the desktop um, go ahead and save it to wherever you want you've named it so we're gonna hit save and that's all there is to it you have now made an intake spreadsheet for multiple days. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thanks for watching.